In this video, we will try to grow the poblano pepper plant from seed to first harvest and back to seed. I wanted to try to grow pepper plants with different varieties, such as this poblano. I'm going to start by planting the seeds in a small pot. The seeds were purchased in a packet on a rack of garden seeds. I chose to use a small pot to start the seeds because it was already lying unused around the yard. Since this is deeper than a shallow seed tray, I chose to add some soil around the yard and mix it in with potting soil. I added the seeds to the top of the muddy soil. I poked the seeds into the soil and then covered them up. Please keep in mind that this is not the proper process to propagate the seeds. The proper process would include planting each seed 0.25 inch or 0.635 centimeters deep in a container with separated trays. I also added dry soil on the top of the seeds. Besides the fact it was laying around in the yard, I chose to plant them in this small container just to help save time. I finished off with adding water to the top of the soil. Here's a little background on the poblano pepper plant. The poblano pepper plant is a member of the species Capsicum annuum. Capsicum annuum is a pepper species that is native to southern parts of North America down to the northern parts of South America. The poblano pepper is also said to come from the Mexican state of Puebla. It took about two weeks for the seeds to germinate. After this first sprout could be seen, a few more also sprouted day after day during this week. Over the next two weeks, the sprouts didn't grow a lot in height. This is likely because most of the growth was below the soil for the start of their root system. Although it may have been too early, I wanted to get them planted in the ground. To cut some of the grass and dig some of the soil, I used the hori hori trowel. The hori hori is a hand tool that looks like the design is in between a knife and a common gardening trowel. Once the soil was ready, I dug the sprout from the pod and planted it directly in the ground. I repeated this process for the four poblano pepper plants. Again, these pepper plants were one of several varieties that I was trying to grow from seed and planting around the same time. Most of the peppers I planted of other varieties did not last long because of animals in the yard. My best guess is that when the grass is cut and the soil is first cut up, it attracts the animals in the yard such as birds to dig around. Since the pepper sprouts and their leaves are so small, the animals just eat the leaves and dig the fresh soil up. I found that this also happens when I put mulch or compost around a small plant. I was also focused on other plants in the yard around this time, so the poblano were left mostly alone. I mentioned this as the reason for why there is not recording of their growth between planting and harvest. In my observations, it seems like the growth for most pepper plants after first sprouting is very slow day to day. I also was not expecting much from the poblanos. With only a few planted, I thought that these poblano plants were the least likely to grow in fruit. Because of the lack of the recordings, we're going to skip ahead of the harvest just to demonstrate the minimal care that I did do around these plants. The maintenance of these plants consisted mostly of hand shears used to cut the grass around them. The hand shears allowed me to keep an area about a foot or 30.48 centimeters of grass and weeds cut down. It's a bit of a manual process when you multiply it for many plants, but I've lost a few from a string trimmer or lawnmower. One loss includes one of the four poblano plants. So cutting around the area by hand does help with visibility when cutting with power tools and machinery. Another consideration was letting the grass grow around the plants rather than leave the soil bare. Although the grass and weeds may compete for nutrients in the soil, I accepted this compromise. This is because due to their location, I'm not watering these plants on a daily basis. So it's just my opinion, but since the bare soil is exposed to the sun, a little bit of grass can help shade the soil underneath. Again, the exposed soil also attracts animals such as birds digging up and around the plants. So although grass clippings by themselves may attract birds, the remaining grass and roots may help to stop them from taking up the soil. So as mentioned, I did not water these plants daily after the first week. However, as seen, I did water the pepper plant since I was recording for this video and it has been mostly sunny lately. Now to the harvest. After four months, I saw two of the pepper plants with peppers on them. This is the first pepper. This first pepper looked a little rough. Although it may be a little bit early, I wanted to harvest it so that the plant could give its energy to some of the other peppers. Maybe they'll end up in better shape than this first one. We'll take quick measurements of this first poblano chili pepper. 
The length of this pepper is 52.19 millimeters or 2.05 inches. The width of this pepper is 26.43 millimeters or 1.04 inches. This pepper was small enough for me to pinch and pull easily. There was a second poblano chili pepper on the second plant. The pepper on this plant looks much better. This could be because more exposure to the sun or it just had more time to mature. We'll take some quick measurements of this second poblano chili pepper. The length of this pepper is 81.15 millimeters or 3.19 inches. The width of this pepper is 34.67 millimeters or 1.36 inches. The second pepper was harder to pinch so I cut it to reduce further damage to the plant. This pepper was out at room temperature for a few days. It was the better pepper so I wanted to use it to extract the seeds. So after three days I again took some measurements. I weighed the pepper and it was 18 grams or 0.635 ounces. The length of this pepper is 77.45 millimeters or 3.04 inches. The width of this pepper is 33.85 millimeters or 1.33 inches. I started to cut the pepper with a small kitchen knife. The poblano is a mild pepper. Keep in mind caution and safety equipment may be needed for hot peppers. Here's a view of the pepper cut in half with the seeds attached. Using the knife, the seeds were separated from the pepper. As a side note, the heat from a pepper is from capsaicin. Although many say that the seeds are the hottest part of the pepper, it is also documented that the heat comes from the capsaicin glands which are associated with the placenta of the chili pepper. Since all three are close together, it is likely that when handled or cut, the capsaicin may be on or around the entire area inside the pepper. As seen, one chili pepper was able to provide about the same number of seeds that we started out with. These seeds will be used again to try to grow more poblano peppers. Although a few plants is not a good yield from a pack of many seeds, it's good to be able to share this first time process with you all.